everyone and welcome back to Art with Miss Cho. I hope you're having a wonderful week and today I have a special treat. As some of you guys know, my mom records on Tuesdays and Thursdays story time. So we decided why not have a little fun with it and let's do a little bit of joint collaboration. So today you guys should go check out her video. It's about, it's a book and I don't want to give it away, but it's kind of creepy. And so to go in that kind of idea of this creepy glowing story, we are going to make glow in the dark paint. So what you need is an old highlighter. It can be any color. Yellow is probably going to be the best. I couldn't find one. I found this kind of like cream colored and a pink and we're going to give it a shot. All you need is an old highlighter, a bowl of water, and then some cornstarch to make it thicker. If you don't have cornstarch, baking soda will work. Anything to kind of thicken it up, maybe a little bit of flour, or you don't need to have make it thick. It can just be like a watercolor. So let's go give that a shot. So the first thing we're going to be doing, you're going to be taking that highlighter and you're going to be grabbing the tip out. You may need a parent help for this part, a pair of pliers, or if you don't have pliers, scissors can also work. Don't squeeze too hard. Just kind of wiggle it and boom, it should pop right out. And we're going to be setting this into a little bit of water. You don't need that much. This is probably too much. So you're going to want to take just maybe a tablespoon of water and we're going to be setting it into the water. And you can see it's already... You might be able to tell on the camera, it's already coming out. You're going to let it sit in there for about 10 minutes. I'm going to do a second bowl with this color so we can kind of compare to see which one's going to be better. And it's coming in more. I'm going to do this one in a clear dish so maybe you can see a little bit better. There we go. Got that one out. And there we go. We can see the orange is starting to come out already. And you can see like this one has actually a lot more back in here. So you might even be able to put this back in and to keep using it. Same goes for both. So that's why I like to use a dried out marker to do this with because you've already kind of used a lot of it. There's not much left in it. Um, and like I, in my house, we don't waste a lot. So I try to use them in all these different ways possible. So now you see a couple more minutes have gone by. You can kind of shake it. Uh, be careful, don't put your hands in it because when you do, it will stain your hands. Uh, but if you were wearing a glove, you could even uh, squeeze out more. Now we can go ahead, if they've been waiting long enough, you know, swish it around a little bit more, rotate it. You can see that this side has more than the other side. And then we can put it back inside. Make it drip off, oops. Put it back inside because you'll still actually be able to use it. There you go, push it back in. You can let it dry out. And it actually might even revitalize the Sharpie if it's, or the, the highlighter if it's been dead for a little bit. Because now you're putting this wet nib back inside. And if there's any more ink, it's going to naturally go into the tip now. So I'm going to set these aside. Now I have my cornstarch. I can sprinkle a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. If you don't have cornstarch, flour will work. Anything that acts like a thickener. And you notice I didn't take my paintbrush and scoop it. That way I can put this back inside the box and not waste the extra. I'm just gonna take my paintbrush and mix it inside this bowl. Now it's up to you how thick you want your paint to be. If you want it, like now this is kind of just like a watercolor, I could add more until it gets thicker. That's up to you. I'm okay with it being a watercolor consistency. If you want it thicker, again, just add more cornstarch. I wanna save my cornstarch for baking. And again, I could have used less water. There's actually quite a bit of paint I have here. Now I'm going to show you two different techniques to use with this water or this um, glow in the dark paint. Obviously, we can go ahead and just paint our paper. And you're not going to see much, right? You see a light pink. When we turn off the lights, hopefully it should glow. So we got our pink. Let's see what our orange looks like. Again, if you pull it up, it looks a little bit more orange. So we can make a painting with this. The other thing we can do is add some soap to our water and make it a really cool bubble painting. So let's give that a shot. So I'm only gonna do it to my pink. I'm gonna add a little bit of soap. Dish soap works just fine into the paint. Now go ahead, give it a mix. Now, if you have a straw 
or if you have a bubble container, you see it's already getting bubbly, perfect. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking a straw or if you have one of these awesome, we're gonna do this, there we go. And now we can try to get some bubbles on our paper. And even if it's just splattering, it can look kind of interesting. So that splattered, it's nice. The other thing we can do, I can't find a straw. I mean, let me see. So I can't find a regular straw, but I have this from one of my water bottles. I'm gonna have to wash it really good after this. And you wanna get those bubbles coming up past that surface. And now I'm gonna take my paper, I'm gonna press it in. And I should get a nice little residue. Let's try that again. A bigger container might be good for this. So you can have more surface area and you're gonna pop the bubbles onto it. Let's try, maybe we can do it. I know this one doesn't have soap in it. Well, oh, that one does not work. You definitely need that soap in it. Ah. And today in art, we're being a little bit more crazy scientist about it. Let's see what we can get. So we're gonna turn off the lights and we're gonna see what this painting is turning into. And again, the great thing is you get bored with it, save them, you can paint with it later. You could add other paint mediums into it. Say you're not liking exactly what you're getting. You have another liquid paint, add it to it. Let's just play and experiment and see what we can get. So let's see if this glows. So you can see here that it is starting to look a little interesting. It's taking a very long time to dry, uh, but I like this section here where the bubbles happen and they actually stay because of the cornstarch. So I'm actually discovering something, a different technique that I never even thought was gonna happen. And it's when we do the cornstarch, the uh, soap and water and the highlighter, we're getting these frozen in time bubbles. That is cool, I've never seen that before. And I'm very excited about that. It is seeming to start to go in the dark a little bit. I think it's gonna take a lot longer. The other trick too that I just started playing with is taking your phone or a flash and flashing it. That might help get it to stimulate so it can glow in the dark. So I'm seeing a little bit of progress and the camera's not picking it up very well. So you might need to play. And what I'm learning too is at the bottom right here, you can see the water is on top. This is the best part. This is the cornstarch and the highlighter. I put way too much water in, but this paints a lot better. You can see that. And my bubbles have stayed in the water. And again, the bottom is gonna be the best part right there. And the bubbles are gonna stay frozen on that page. So I'm actually really excited about this kind of new technique. It kind of glows in the dark, but mainly those bubbles freeze and that's super cool. And also this is a color that I don't really have in my paint palette and maybe you don't have paints at home, but this is something you can create with what you have. So I hope you had fun experimenting with me today, maybe doing a little more science-y based art and who knows what you can come up with based on the same kind of supplies, but yours might come out different. So let me know in the comments below, how did yours turn out? What did you learn from yours? Did you add something, was adding flour actually come up with a different result? Did you concoct some other idea? I wanna know about it. Tell me what you did below and how did yours come turn out? I'm gonna let you know in a little bit once this dries what happened to it. Is it going to glow? I think it's, I think it's going to, I've had a glow in the past, but maybe because my um, highlighters that I found right now were a little bit more on the dead side, maybe it won't, but I still am really liking the art that got created. So as always, if you like this video, if you had fun playing with science and art, and if you watched my mom's video, go ahead, go look at that now and uh, hit that like button, subscribe. That way you get notified every day, 9am, a different project and let me know what you want to see in the future. So join me tomorrow for Art with Miss Trout. Bye.